Okay, so I learned something really cool, which I had no idea about. I've been in a fan of trains for like forever. But I just always assumed, well, I didn't even assume, I just didn't even think about it. They're diesel electric. We call them diesel trains, but the diesel engine just runs a generator, which runs electric motors, which makes the train move. Which I knew this for a long time, but I had no concept about what kind of motors they are. It just, I never thought about it. And then one time I was reading and found information on the topic of like, AC motors or DC motors, and I was like, what? And then I realized, like, well, yeah, like, there's there's two types of electric motors. There's AC electric motors, and there's DC electric motors. Uh, for those of you who are not electric aficionados, aficionados, uh, that was a bad word to choose to say. Okay, moving on. So, uh, yeah, the wife's cracking up. <laughs> you probably hear her. Okay, so... AC power is what we have in our house, and AC stands for alternating current. It means that the current literally goes back and forth in the wire. So imagine like you have a water pipe, and the water goes this direction, and then it stops, and it goes this direction, and then it stops, and it, that's that's all alternating current does. It just goes bing, 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 and magically makes power. I'm not going to get into that. That's not happening. DC power, it just goes from point A to point B. So if you have a car battery, which is DC power, it goes from the battery and it goes through the car engine and it comes back to the battery. And then it goes through the car engine and it just makes a loop like this. Whereas AC power from the power plant to your house goes ding, 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 ding. Okay, well, yeah. So obviously the, the motors aren't interchangeable. DC motor needs power that goes in a circle and an AC motor needs power that goes back and forth. So an AC motor, is like pretty common. We use those in vacuum cleaners uh, or your blenders or like every household item uses AC motors and AC power. And I never, like when I started thinking about it, I was like, well, yeah, trains would have AC motors. Like, it, it, you know, I didn't even think about it. And then I was reading and I learned that for like the longest time, trains have had DC motors. And this is huge. This is, this is a massive thing because apparently DC motors are nowhere near as good as AC motors for trains. For a blender, we just use AC because that's what your house has. And for your car, like the starter in your car is DC because that's what your car has. Your car has DC. It doesn't have AC. But trains have a generator or an alternator, but they create power, and then they have to convert that power into whatever form they need. So if they have an alternator that makes AC power, they have to convert it to DC power. Uh, I'm getting off on a tangent. Anyways, uh, but apparently it, it's convoluted, and I would have thought that like it would be easy to make AC power and use AC power, but it doesn't work that way because... AC power cycles at 60 hertz in your house, and that's it's just a set speed. So when you turn on the vacuum cleaner, it just goes on, right? You can't change the speed of your vacuum cleaner. It's just on. And so in a train, where they need to be able to change the speed of the motors from 0 miles an hour up to 60 miles an hour, that doesn't work. So if they have an AC motor, it has to go to a, 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 a thing that changes it, to DC power, to a thing that changes it back to AC power, to a thing that can control how fast the AC power switches directions so that the train can go zero miles an hour to 60 miles an hour, which is really convoluted and complicated. And so for a long time, trains have always had DC motors because it's cheaper to make. Like, I don't know how much cheaper it is now. I was reading articles from like 2000 and 2005, and at the time... It was like half a million dollars cheaper to buy a DC locomotive versus an AC locomotive. So here's a picture of a common DC locomotive. You've probably seen these if you like trains at all. Um, but yeah, so these locomotives would often have an AC generator, aka an alternator, and then it would convert that power to DC to run the motors. But 
DC motors are not as good, apparently. Yeah, I'll just do another video because it's really fascinating. So I'm going to show you a picture of, here's the train. These can be DC or AC, but commonly the new versions of these, this is an SD70. The new versions are an SD70 AC E, uh, and they have AC motors. And apparently, they have way more pulling power, and they don't slip as much, and they're just, like, better. They're more efficient. I had no idea. Mind blown. Okay, that's it. That's all I have.